Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.3 from the chapter number 6. The problem is what is the difference between serial and parallel transfer? Which transfer is faster one? Then explain how to convert the serial data to parallel and parallel data into serial. What type of register is needed? This means for converting the serial data into parallel, what type of register is needed? And for parallel data to serial, what type of register is needed? The last part, the problem is that. So first of all, let us see the difference between serial and parallel transfer. So here in this left hand side, I have written here the serial transfer and in the right hand side, this is parallel transfer. So first difference is in serial transfer, data is transferred one bit at a time. And in case of parallel transfer, Parallel data is transferred n bits at a time. So there will be n number of inputs and n number of outputs. So with each clock cycle, n bits will be transferred from input to the output side. The next difference is used for long distance communication because this circuit is simpler. And if one bit is transferred, so it has a greater noise tolerance. That's why it is used for long distance communication and it is for shorter distance communication. This shorter means shorter in comparison to the serial transfer communication. Okay, because here we have n number of channels and that's why it has lower tolerance to the noise. That's why it cannot be used for longer distance communication. So the third difference is it is economical. Serial transfer is economical because the circuit is simpler. And this parallel transfer is expensive because the circuit is complex. This is for serial transfer. So this is a synchronous 4-bit shift register. That means with each clock cycle, we will have one input data will be shifted here. For the next cycle, it will be transferred here. And with the third cycle, it will be transferred here. And with fourth cycle, it will be come out of this output port. So this is a serial transfer. And in case of this parallel transfer circuit, here we can see that we have I0, I1, I2, and I3. We have four input lines and it will be transferred to these four output lines A0, A1, A2, and A3. That means here we can see that we have four flip-flops and we can transfer four bits parallelly with single clock pulse. That means with each clock pulse, this four bit number will be transferred to this right hand side. So this is a four bit register with parallel load. So here we can see that this four bit serial shift register is simpler in design and here also you can see that here also we have 4-bit register parallel register but we can see that the circuit is complex and therefore it will be expensive then we have in case of serial transfer we have transferred one bit at a time therefore it is has a slow speed and in case of parallel transfer we will have faster speed because n bits are transferred at a time so the fifth difference is only one communication channel is required because one bit is transferred at the time therefore we will have only one communication channel okay and for this parallel transfer n number of communication channels are required for n parallel bit transfer depending on the number of bits that will be transferred parallelly that much of number of channels are required for the transfer so in the next part we are asked about which transfer is faster one so we have seen that this parallel transfer is the faster speed. Faster speed, here slower speed. Parallel transfer will be the faster one. In the third part of the problem, we are asked about how to convert the serial data to parallel and parallel data into serial. So what type of register is needed? So for doing this, we will need a shift register. So for serial to parallel transfer, a shift register can convert serial data into parallel data by first shifting one bit at a time into the register that means first of all one bit at a time we load the data to the register and then taking the parallel data from the register outputs here we can see that so first of all what we will do suppose this is a serial register so for serial to parallel conversion what we will do first of all suppose we will load the input bit sequence to all of these registers that means after four clock cycles we will have some value here some data here some data here that means the first bit that the least significant bit will be here that means after four clock cycles we will have one bit one bit here another bit here and the fourth bit here okay so we can directly take from these outputs parallelly so after loading four bits serially into this register 
so we can take four bit parallelly from this output of this flip flops the flip flops okay that means we can convert this shift serial shift register into parallel one now we have to convert parallel to serial conversion so for parallel to serial conversion we will use a shift register with parallel load that can convert parallel data to serial format by first loading the data in the parallel and then shifting one bit at a time here with the reverse case of the previous one first of all we will load the data and then we will take one bit at a time that will be the serial conversion so this is the solution of the problem number 6.3 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you